My name is Bob Snyder and I am from Auto Gyro USA and we're going to talk about this Cavalon which is one of our most uh, popular models. It is a side-by-side -side, two place gyroplane powered by Rotax. Uh, this one happens to be a Rotax 914. So gyroplanes um, even though they look like they're new and space age type thing is not a uh, not a new technology. In fact, it's um, gone back to about 1923. So we're in a new renaissance for uh, gyroplanes here in the United States. It's been going on in Europe for a few years now. Um, we're just on the uh, the iceberg tip, so to speak of having gyroplanes uh, populate the world of aviation. So basically a gyroplane, it kind of looks like a helicopter, but it is not. Actually, it's, it's very simple aircraft. Um, it gets its lift from a spinning wing. So for us to form that wing, it is um, obviously the rotor blade has to turn. So once that rotor blade is turning, uh, it'll generate lift and it flies much more like a conventional aircraft with a stick with elevator and ailerons instead of like a helicopter. It needs, uh, the, the, one of the simple things about the aircraft is the rotor is not powered, unlike a helicopter which has a powered rotor. So. In the event that uh, for some reason the engine were to fail, there is no, oh, we got to get this in auto rotation and, and then land. It's a non event because it's already in auto rotation and it's just a glide to the ground. And a day like today, we've got uh, wind blowing at about uh, 20, 25 knots. It will roll maybe about 10 feet before it's airborne and landing it will not roll at all. So that's the short uh, takeoff and landing characteristics of the aircraft. Now on a day where the wind is not blowing, it's about 300 feet with wheels on the ground to take off and about 25 feet wheels on the ground to land. Wind is your friend with a gyroplane, yes. In fact, uh, Today is actually a perfect day for flying a gyro, and you will see not very many light sport fixed wing aircraft are flying today, and obviously not any of the parachutes or, or wings. This aircraft is equipped with a Rotax 914, that's the turbocharged version. Uh, it is available with the 912 100 horsepower and the 915 uh, new IS engine. Well, you're getting horsepower gains, so you're going to get. Um, a greater thrill on takeoff performance and climb. The climb rate will um, exceed 1,200 feet per minute, even on a, with a heavily loaded aircraft. It, uh, it's kind of like getting the, uh, the big engine in your sports car. So um, this aircraft, uh, to, uh, to fly it, the minimum would be a sport pilot license and Sport Pilot is available in the gyroplane class. You can get gyroplane private, gyroplane commercial, and of course, uh, flight instructor. Uh, this particular aircraft is an experimental, but we do have certified versions available for sale as of today. Typically, our pilots, um, like most light sport, are generally uh, 50 years old plus, but worldwide, the uh, the average pilot is usually generally a, a much younger pilot. We do appeal to men and women alike. It um, it's for somebody who just basically wants to have fun flying because this is about the most fun you can have flying. In fact, if it were any more fun, I'm sure the government would make it illegal as a class drug. So how did I get into this? Uh, years ago, actually I was always interested in gyroplanes as a kid with the Benson um, gyrocopter, bought plans, uh, did not ever build one, 
uh, saw a couple accidents and kind of put gyroplanes out of my mind. Um, I was doing some work for a, for a company and they were demonstrating all kinds of aircraft and some gyroplanes showed up, modern gyroplanes like this. And the guys said, hey, come on out and do a test flight. And I said, ain't no way. Man, these things are dangerous. I'm not getting in it. Just because you put a fancy plastic body on it, I don't want to fly it. I know they're dangerous. Well, finally, they did talk me into taking a test ride. And man, I'm going to tell you, in about 15 minutes, I knew that I had misjudged this aircraft. It was a lot of fun. That was about eight years ago. And I've been flying them pretty much ever since. I've almost given up fixed wing flying and trek flying. And I've had more fun in those eight years than my entire aviation career of almost 50. Um, it has been a blast and I, I dare anybody not to smile that hasn't flown one. I tell you, it, it's the closest thing to being a bird as you're gonna get. A realistic price for an aircraft like this is about $125,000. Um, but it has radio, transponder, heated leather seats with lumbar support, cabin heat. Uh, this aircraft is, uh, is not fully loaded, but it is pretty close. So you would, have, you would be hard pressed to spend um, over 150 or so with all the bells and whistles options that are available. So if it's an aircraft that we have in stock, obviously the weight is uh, as soon as your check clears the bank. Um, if it's one that you want to order for perhaps custom equipment or custom color, they come in any color that you can think of. Uh, the weight would be approximately 12 to 16 weeks to get it. And uh, we do require a 50% uh, deposit for the aircraft. They are uh, manufactured in Germany and then assembled here as experimentals. As certified aircraft, they're manufactured in Germany and they come over on the boat. We put the uh, rotor blade on and go fly it, basically. If you want more information, is check out our website. It's uh, autogyrousa.com. We can, uh, you can find out more than you probably want to know about the aircraft on that website. And then from there, you can call us, email us. We'll give you all the details on how you can get started and where you can do it.